I came across this very simple procedure the other day, so I thought I'd give it a try. The objective is to make an inorganic polymer from sodium silicate and something with a, perhaps ironically, organic ethyl group, either acetic acid or ethanol. Sodium silicate is also known as water glass. Silicates, when mixed with alcohols and organic acids, tend to gel up. In this procedure, the excess water is supposed to be squeezed out and the gel ends up being something like a rubber ball. In this first attempt, I mixed 50 milliliters of sodium silicate and 25 milliliters of one molar acetic acid, which is very close to the concentration of regular distilled white vinegar from the kitchen. It's supposed to congeal into a mass, and that mass is then removed from the excess liquid and further dried by squeezing. As you could see, there was a bit of congealing, but trying to get it to come together was, well, not working that well. There's an alternate procedure that uses ethanol instead of acetic acid. It also calls for a much higher concentration. So let's try that. I had some camera problems when I mixed up the second batch, which is to say I forgot to hit record. But this is the product from using sodium silicate that had been diluted to 50% and 95% ethanol that had been diluted to about 90%. It's a fairly hard, opaque mass. Here's how I made it. On the right, there are 25 grams of sodium silicate and 25 milliliters of water. On the left, 18 milliliters of 95% ethanol and seven milliliters of water. These are the proportions that were listed in the procedure I was working from. I also added food coloring to the silicate solution to make things a little easier to see. It comes together very nicely, especially in comparison to the first trial, which was complete garbage. I like to keep working this sample, so I squeeze out as much of the water as possible into the bag and then remove the ball. There's some extra polymer in the bag, so I fish that out too. Outside of the bag, the goal was to keep squeezing it into something approximating round. However, trying to add the additional polymer caused the ball to shear. Once it was apart, it refused to come back together. So let's try this again. Another thing I noticed is that there's an awful lot of extra water left behind. I wondered why I was adding water only to have it come out of the polymer later. In the next run, I'm going to try and eliminate that problem. I also decided to scale up. I had 110 milliliters of the sodium silicate solution, and I figured that about 40 milliliters of alcohol would be proportional. Without any additional water, I mixed these two solutions together. The question I had was whether removing the water is going to help polymer formation or somehow inhibit it. So this part of the procedure is pretty much the same as it has been. I have between 110 and 120 milliliters of sodium silicate. To that, I added a bunch of green food coloring, then 40 milliliters of ethanol. A gel started forming right away. I started forming it into a ball-like shape in the bag, and it was pretty easy to work with. At this scale, it was more evident when the polymerization reaction actually takes off. I did a lot of gentle but firm squeezing in the hope that I wouldn't shear it this time. It did start to crack though, and I was worried this was gonna be another spectacular failure. I kept going, and I did more squeezing than massaging. I was having problems with there being too much air in the bag, and I was afraid it was gonna burst. So I ended up dumping off most of the extra liquid, which was still quite a lot despite not having added any additional water, and then I continued to shape the ball inside of the bag. This polymer is supposed to be bouncy, and I really wanted at least one more or less spherical ball-type unit to test this property, and after much squeezing, a more or less spherical ball emerged. There are some cracks in the surface, but I'm pretty happy with it. Let's try a short bounce. I was surprised and pleased that it didn't leave a lot of liquid behind when it hit the table. And it does bounce. When I finished this shot, I bounced it on a wooden bench off camera.
Oh yeah. On wood, that's much better. After a quick camera adjustment, you can share in the fun. As I mentioned before, sodium silicate is also known as water glass. It's basically liquid sand. If it's spilled and allowed to dry, or if it's left in a beaker for a little too long, it's never going to be removed. I've wrecked a few beakers this way over the years, which is why I'm only using plastic or disposable equipment in this video, and why I had to drop everything and make sure that spill got cleaned up in a hurry. By now, especially after the incident, I was pretty much over this procedure. For some reason, I decided to push my luck and make one more ball. Using the same proportions, 120 milliliters of sodium silicate, all that remained from the 275 that was in the full to the brim cup I bounced the ball into, and 40 milliliters of 95% alcohol. Because, after all, what's a house lab video if I don't empty at least one bottle of chemical, right? You'll notice that during the shaking, you can see the point in the reaction where the polymerization really takes off. This is quite a large amount of polymer. There's a point after polymerization begins where the ball can no longer be shaped, and that's the point where the other ones were starting to shear. I'm a little more careful with this one, but since this video has turned into a comedy of errors, naturally the bag would burst while I was working the ball. Oh well, let's have a look at what we made today. It's a pretty dismal looking group. Okay, here's the, here's the results. We've got this, uh, this first guy. And they're all, they're all really hard now. This one was not wrung out pr completely. Um, and there, it's still quite moist. These, these are all the um, alcohol rather than the, um, the vinegar one. That one was just garbage. Um, I would say that this, these red ones that had the added water no good. This one, I uh, I rinsed off, but it's still got some goop on it. Um, and when it fell in, I set it on top of one of those little medicine cup things, and uh, that's why it's got this little ring around here. Anyway, this was good uh, before I dunked it in the drink. And then this is the last one I made. Um, and they all take on this thing from the, the napkin just because I'm not really sure where else to put them. But it does show that despite being quite hard well, and oozing out everywhere, um, it is still somewhat of a fluid and it will go towards gravity. So um, it's a fun little experiment, a little messy, a little bit, uh, well, it, for me it was a lot messier than it should have been, but it's still a little bit messy even if it's contained in the, the bag. This actually, when I made this one, um, it burst through the side of the bag. Um, that was 
that wasn't as bad as it sounds. Um, all the liquid was on the other side, so it didn't make a mess or anything. Uh, this one was good, and both of these that were made with straight up alcohol and straight up sodium silicate without the additional water, much better. Dense. These are much better than with the additional water. This is still very wet, and this is actually a lot stickier. Um, even though these are pretty sticky. This one especially. And this one's especially sticky because it had the extra sodium silicate on it. Um, I did, like I said, I did rinse it off in the sink, but, you know, it's hard to recover from something like that. Anyway, that's that. Actually, that's not that. I found this the next morning. There was additional liquid loss from a few of the balls, and they have all slumped out of whatever round they may have been in. I guess that's what I meant when I said going towards gravity. Oh, it's a good thing I'm not a physicist. And now, they're pretty much flat. They have no more bounce, and they're a real mess. I'm going to throw them all out. Overall, this was an interesting experiment. If you don't mind a good challenge and a bad mess. I'd highly recommend making some of this polymer. The components are reasonably safe and easy to get a hold of, and the process is really simple. Just don't think you're going to be able to hold on to these things past their initial use. Even if you were able to get them dry and to stay round, they lose their bounce and they're just no fun. But right away, so long as you don't make a huge mess in the process, they actually are kind of fun to play with. I'm working on several new videos that will be coming out this month, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.